Hey all you cool cats and welcome back to the Sims 4 Legacy Challenge, the one with um, Selby. I'm sure you guys have long waited for the return of this and I'm happy to say welcome back, <laughs> Selby. Um, in case you don't remember what the Legacy Challenge is, it's where you have to have 10 surviving generations um, of, of basically the same family. So uh, generation one is the one you start with, generation two is their offspring, and so on and so forth. Ooh, make sure to pause. Unlike some other series where I had, uh, <laughs> where I had uh, some episodes saved up, I did not have any episodes saved up for uh, Selby. So this is like a straight up new episode. Um, Anyways, we're going to go ahead and uh, investigate what's going on with the family. I'm going to go ahead and continue. I would not expect you to like watching the news. Oh, and he's off to work. Oh, Bryant has met Tane while at school. Oh my gosh, okay. In honor of Love Day, Bryant's school always allows students to buy flowers to be delivered to each other during class. With some money to spend, Bryant decided to take advantage of the fundraiser and celebrate the holiday. Buy flowers for everyone in class. We'll do that because that's cute. Bryant decides to surprise the entire class with flowers. While sitting in math, each flower was hand delivered, taking enough time to get them all out of the test. Ah, I gotta see. Alright, look at, look at. Look at Brian here. He's gonna be a heartbreaker one day. He's exercising or something. He's pumped. So he gave flowers. Oh, he's gonna have a successful love day for a small child. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna need you to start doing homework. We we need you to become a smart child. Uh. Keen has been practicing and practicing a section of a score and just can't get it right. It is more than a little frustrating. Should keep at it or take a break? I'll keep at it? Perseverance pays off. Suddenly the section clicks. There's no stopping. Joaquin. Nice. I feel like for if, if he can get a good grade, I'm going to paint the walls of his bedroom. So you can have a nicer looking bedroom. What happened? Oh, she's feeling really bad. Okay, take a bubble bath then. I'm sorry. I thought you would enjoy the mud bath. What do I know? So fussy. Hope you feel better. A child is less of a pain in the butt, just so you know. Hey, Bryant, what are you getting to eat over here? Some chips? Chips are not a meal. Oh, she's got a phone ringing. No, stop calling me. I don't want to go over to your house. He can practice the violin. After he washes his hands. Always wash your hands. Go practice the violin. Oh. It's awful. We'll just go look at something else while he's doing that. Wait, this creativity is level five and that's the best he can do? Oh. Maybe that's... Maybe he's not suited to that. Keep encouraging him, though. Right, cheer. Cheer him on. Even if you don't actually believe in it. Oh, that sounds so horrible. She's having fun, though. 
despite it being terrible. Oh, it's so bad. I can hear it from outside of the house. <laughs> What's going on here? Who is that? Why does she look like a magician? <gasps> she just... <laughs> She just popped out of existence. Oh, okay. Um. Oh God, he's still going. Look at this, Chris. He's coming up to my door. He doesn't even have shoes on. Why is he thinking about my son? Who are you? Make a flirtatious joke. Do that for your husband. Stop talking to this man. <laughs> and stop eating for a second. Oh. We Excuse you? Ferobi physique. Fazoob! Balco? Okay. Balco not. What is this? Go, go on a boys. date. Oh. oh. Saku, I guess the two of you could go on a date. Um, <laughs> what is going on? Why have you joined in on this conversation? Okay, they can go on a date. I've totally left my child in the care of that strange man. Uh, where's a good date spot? I mean, let's go to the park. I don't know. <laughs> this is the hardest thing ever, because she'll never be flirty. No, she's finally flirty, but she can't do anything. She's too tired. Two of you are dead tired. But at least I made you guys go on a romantic date. An attempt was made. It's a good thing that it's his Saturday, because he did not go to sleep. 5 a.m. <laughs> Everyone's going to bed. Why is everyone so filthy? Excuse me, why are you so disgusting? Take a bath. Foxbury Spirit Squad. Enjoy a nice Saturday on the quad. What time is it between? 8 can go. I guess go to the event. Um, I guess invite those two kids. Oh, heck, let's do it. I've never done that thing before. I don't know if that's new. But hey, let's go hang out. <laughs> you guys can talk to each other, but like, where is the event? That's a lobster. Okay. Don't know why that lady is following me. I guess I'll let him just hang out. <laughs> Cause honestly, he's he's now going to slowly become the star of the uh, the series. There needs to be like some sort of like swing set or something for them to interact on. Oh! Oh, here's where the event was taking place. Guys, go, go over here. Oh no, the event. We did not interact with the event at all. I missed it. 
Oops. Oh, he's dazed. <laughs> he hit the ball in his head. Ah. Oh. Oof. Well, at least I know where that activity takes place next time. Last recess, no one wanted to play with me. I just climbed around on my own. If that happens again, what should I do? Ask other kids if you can join in. Conflict resolution increases. Emotional control decreases. I have no idea if that was bad. Shall we find out if she's... My neighbor says one kiss at the romance festival is worth ten anywhere else. Like, why do people try to hit on her? Okay, she's married. Has a kid. Stop. How to get him started in the scouting thing. Oh, he literally stole... He stole that soccer ball. What is plus fame? Practice juggling? What are you? How about you kick the soccer ball with your mother? Go, go, go play with her. Not enough exercise. Soccer shame. Joaquin hopes to make some extra cash on the side by teaching piano to neighborhood kids, but his very first students spill soda all over the piano keys. He can tell the little barbarian to come back next week once it's fixed, or charge the mother for cleaning and repair. Postpone the lesson? Well played. After an hour of dabbing the keys with cotton boxer briefs, the piano sounds just as good as new. It took a little work, but Joaquin was able to avoid a costly repair. Stop it. Stop it. Though that sounds cool. Stop it. Activity table. I didn't realize that he has an artistic prodigy. Oh, I need to buy an activity table. Okay. Oh, shoot. I've been a bad parent. Perfect. Oh, look at that. That looks amazing. And you know what? You've been such a good kid. I'm gonna, I'm gonna paint your walls with something. What do you suppose his favorite color? He's kind of like everywhere. Um, he's got yellow, blues. I think I've seen him wear kind of like a lot of yellow. So I guess I'll paint his room. Whoops. Good job not setting. Wait, why'd you put that in? That, that started to look burnt. Do we have a fire alarm in this house? Oh, I do. Right there. <laughs> wait, 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 I wasn't... What? I, I believed in you. Also, it's summer. Yeah. You made eggs and toast. Ooh, it looks fine. Excellent quality. Oh, he's adorable. Look at his little outdoor outfit. All right. Oh, he's got like some sort of itchy thing. What? Why are you people sick? What is going on? Do you have something? No, you're fine. Maybe whatever was itching you will just get better. I don't know how to fix that. 
Oh, are you trolling people over there? No, stop that. Work on writing your column or something. Dizzy. Yeah, go go sleep that off. I don't know what you have, but you have some sort of dizziness disease. Straight up go completely to sleep. And you have like some sort of scratchy disease. What is going on? You can have leftover salad for breakfast, which sounds terrible. School bus arrives? No, the school bus has totally arrived. Oh wait, there it is. Go to school! Go to school! I'll hang your picture of shapes over here. It's not really shapes. I'm not that picky. Um, we found an unsent love, love letter from Bryant to his teacher in his desk today. Nothing racy, but we thought we should let you know. Cute, but inappropriate. We'll talk. I am at work. Don't call me. Just stop calling me, period. End statement. Working four hours. He's already played the instrument. Um, he is doing the best. What are you doing here? Yeet yourself. Well, don't go playing basketball in the middle of a thunderstorm. Are you kidding me? That shouldn't even have to be a question. Kitchen nightmare. Sarah decides to take a day trip to visit a restaurant that had fallen on hard times. Stepping inside, she was immediately disappointed. Tired and dusty decor did little to mask the dining room, hadn't been updated in over a decade. The food that was served caused Sarah's stomach to churn. She wondered, is it even enough to simply write a review? If this is the food they present to a critic, imagine the horrors waiting to be uncovered in the kitchen. Sarah barge into the kitchen and conduct a surprise inspection or simply return to her office and write a scathing review. Sarah will lose reputation and make an enemy. Like YOLO. She's earned the very first fame point, which is hers to keep. Fame points can be used to purchase fame perks within the fame info panel. With her newfound fame, though, she is now susceptible to developing a fame quirk, a behavioral oddity shaped by the actions she takes. The cookie crumbles. With her cell phone live streaming every moment, Sarah stormed into the kitchen, only to find nothing. Where were the chefs? The sound of muffled crying could be heard nearby. Sarah turned the corner and found a single disheveled chef in the state of distress. The chef poured her heart out about how she failed at running the family's restaurant and was only left to watch it crumble around her. Viewers in the live stream quickly turned on Sarah. How could she be so cruel to broadcast the chef's predicament to the world? The chef Elizabeth Guerrero. Well. <laughs> She's now... My enemy. She's an elder. That's fine. How much longer does she have to live, really? You know? <laughs> what is this? Okay, I don't know what this is. Noticeable. Chance to gain bonus fame from skills and careers. There's something about Sarah that makes her stand out from the crowd and makes her <laughs> so take notice. Uh, there's a chance that a single skill or career-based action from here on may catch the public's attention, giving extra boost to fame, networking, gaining the social powers to deal with fellow celebrities, be able to form friendships with more famous sims, and smooth talk her way from being acquaintances to friends quickly. Or corporate partnership. Uploads from the video station and music station will earn Sarah more fame than normal. Uh, blah, 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 I'm going to receive phone calls, ad agency, and a timed request to upload a video for immediate bonus payment. Uh, just go with noticeable. I don't know. Boom. That's what you get for being a critic, I suppose. You brought home a school project? Okay. 
the problem with doing this project is like it's raining. And there's no room big enough in this house to do this project in. Son of a gun, do I have to make his room even bigger? <laughs> his room is quickly becoming the biggest room in the house. Um, what am I gonna do here? Because the house has been just fine in terms of size until this. Yeah, you still need to do your homework. No, don't go to sleep. Do your homework first. Your parents will fix that problem over there. <laughs> Alright. Go to sleep. Go to sleep immediately. You have, like, just a few hours to get sleep for school. Why, why do they give you projects and stuff to, like, all get done in the time period? It's ridiculous. You have to get all that done? So we are about halfway to him becoming a teenager. I never did end up figuring out this badge thing, so I'm just going to go ahead and... I guess delete it. Maybe my next kid will figure out the scouting badge thing. Clearly not him. It's over. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna let this one slide. Yes! Bryant is now a B student. He's not having fun, but I mean, he's at school. <laughs> this is understandable. Okay, I know you're not happy. I have a solution. How about you practice free throws? There you go. That'll be fun. Oh, he's inspired. Had to finish off that motor skill before we started drawing. There you go. He's level 9 of creativity? Phone fanatic. Ad Sarah's developed an addiction to her phone. She'll take any opportunity she can to get to pull out her phone and happily tap away. On occasion, she'll become tense if she hasn't used her phone for entertainment recently. <laughs> Why are you so problematic? <laughs> <laughs> I can't stop you from eating. I can't stop you from playing with your phone. Why does it seem like Tane is supposed to be in this area? I don't see Tane. What's going on? <laughs> Every time I play this game, I swear I come across a new bug. What is this? Okay, let's bring this over here so that way I may see it. Ask your father to help you put you back to sleep. He tucks you in. A special bond. Oh my gosh, he doesn't love his father nearly as much as he loves his mom. Like, we're talking like 50% less love. I thought, I've been making them hang out and do stuff together. I've been doing father-son time constantly. What is going on? You two are like, he's basically a bigger version of you. How do you not love your father? <laughs> He's been watching those movies with you. He's been playing with soccer with you and and you you love instruments like he does. Like you literally play the violin. He has a violin, you have violin. Turn the cheat around. A teacher caught Bryant looking at another student's test during class and sent him to the office. 
I'm sure it was a mistake. I'm sure it was a mistake. He wouldn't cheat. He's such a good boy. Look how responsible he is. He's nearly maxed out on the responsible bar. He does his homework. All the extra credit by himself. No way he would cheat. Kidding me? How many kids actually actively do their homework without their parents nagging them? I realize I'm controlling him, but... I don't know, sometimes when you're taking a test, you just... Okay, what the heck? Um... Okay. Thank God. I was like, what? I was like, that is a glitch that was that was a little too much. I'm guessing that's because I was fast forwarding after he was taking a bath. Taking a look at this, it looks like Bryant is about 50% of the way to becoming a teenager. I'm going to guess that the next episode will basically age him to teenager state. Um, so the beginning of his teen life and uh, we'll continue on from there. What are you spraying on his bed? Okay, I'm just... Everyone get out of this house. Sure, just make yourself at home. Look at that kid knows to get out. What about you? 